Now, is these are replicas of river rocks that have a carvings on them, and they're from Peru. Now, what I want to point out to you is notice on the top of the back is just a fine pattern. There's no circle pattern or anything to it. But on the lower part of the body, they carved in circles. So we think that that shows that they probably had a circle pattern. And the reason they put them there is because they had seen them. Now, very seldom do you find a dinosaur in a museum or anything that they've put flesh and skin on that they would have any circle pattern to them. Now, the other thing i point out here is you follow this dinosaur. Here's a long tail. Here's the body, your long neck. And then you get over here, here's a human. And the dinosaur has a hold of this guy's arm and it's got blood coming out. Well, why would they carve a dinosaur if they had been extinct for 67 million years. And if so, why would they, even if they found a fossil of a dinosaur, why would they carve them interacting with humans? Now, some of these other stones you'll be able to see when you look at them. Uh, there's people in each one of these rocks. And here's a spear going after a T-Rex type. Uh, dinosaur. Then here, remember that circle pattern on the bottom? This is a replica of some skin of a hadrosaur, which is the dinosaur I just showed you a minute ago. Uh, the common name is a duckbill. And a hadrosaur is like cow. You know, there could be Hereford, Angus, and different different types of this, but Hadrosaur is a general um, name. Okay, and notice here, this pattern of a Hadrosaur dinosaur is in a circle pattern. Now there, I have been to a museum up in Glendive, Montana, and uh, they have larger circles on uh, fossilized skin that they have there in the museum. But then, if you go to this other one, notice this would have to be either the tail, and here's some short, looks like rib bones. I wonder if it's in the loin area. There's a little bit of the muscle is fossilized, but there's skin here fossilized. Notice no circle pattern, just like is on that river rock. So to me, it's just further evidence that these people did see these dinosaurs. Now, here is an interesting thing. Um, I got this from some of the stuff that uh, the owner of that ranch, it was in her father's collection. And this is a gastrolith. And you can, it's a rock that dinosaur had swallowed. Now, I don't know if he found this on the ranch or he got it someplace else, but there would have been, we found evidences of mosasaurs and, you know, some dinosaurs like that, and they would have swallowed stones to help them digest their food. And you can tell it because it's kind of a shiny, oily material or rock. And here is a coprolite, a dinosaur coprolite uh, that I've got a partial of anyway, which is fossilized dinosaur poop. Then we'll go down here to this is a brow tine of a what is that? Triceratops. Okay, a brow tine would be one of these. And one of the reasons we got a replica of that is on the same ranch where they actually got the original, 
they had a 48 inch brow tine only buried about a foot deep and up in the horn it still had original tissue so that is a very interesting well it's like how can it be 67 million years old and still have original tissue uh, we have recently got connected with a couple of men who are well they found five dinosaurs or within five dinosaur fossils evidence that they were drowned by the blood clots that are in the bones and they found nerve endings i mean they're just finding tissue everywhere basically so to us that's evidence that the assumptions of the long ages uh, of the dinosaurs and everything is probably a false assumption and it's evidence that it's not true so i've got this little styracosaurus here and the reason i've got this here is because there are reports of a styracosaurus on the savannah over in africa extremely rare but some of the natives say that they see it very occasionally so that to me is very interesting too well that would mean if it's true that they didn't go extinct 67 million years ago because they're still running around and then down below here is on that ranch uh, on the very western edge of uh, Montana and what we have here they were digging out this bone and so you have the imprint of a round leg bone here in this one and as I went by there I looked and on the end you can see there's actually an actual fossil of a bone inside this rock so you actually have two kinds of fossils in this one rock the imprint of a fossil and an actual uh, fossil or bone that's been had mineral replacing 